Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. So here we are in the final chapter of Season 2. So let's look around and... Standard procedure. Why can't every belief system have a transit system this efficient? That's a pretty good question, actually. Poor Bosco. The shock of seeing time-traveling mariachis was too much for his heart to take. Stress-induced heart attacks are the second most common cause of death for conspiracy freaks obsessed with alien abduction. What's the first? Unexplained organ removal. Indeed. Whee! This is what happens to babies that get thrown out with the bathwater. All those times on the mariachi spaceship when you saw only one set of footprints, that was when I carried you. Oh, for heaven's sake! <laughs> And we got rid of Featherly. Hey, what are you guys working on over there? <laughs> you surface dwellers just wouldn't understand. Surface dwellers is actually one of the nicest things we've been called. True, true. Okay. Looks like the bottom dropped out of the Esperanto literature business. Literally. I'd heard rumors about a company burying millions of Mimesweeper cartridges, but I always thought that was in the desert. I bet the sandworms carried them here. No sleeper jokes? Okay. No, we got posters to look at, too. Prepaid seance cards. Could be useful, I guess. Health food must be a lot cooler in hell. Yeah, you will. Those books always take you to the touristy, overpriced areas. There's an overpriced area of hell? Whee! Okay. Phlegathon Lake? Hmm, maybe we should take a boat tour of the Phlegathon. Boat tour? The best way to see it is bobbing eternally just below the surface. Oh, you get a good look at it, indeed. I'd take out more insurance. But Max won't give me his personal information for the beneficiary form. Being the victim of identity theft is the real hell, Sam. Eh, well, maybe. Hmm, Academy of Haunting. I wonder if we should enroll. Do not go gentle into those good night classes. Yeah, well. Hey, I'm pal, right can you... Whoa, hey! Yours really knows how to fill out a suit. Well, I never... Hey, buddy, can you help us get into hell? I'm on break. Hey, buddy, can you help? I'm on break. Oh, he's on break. Oh, well. Union guys do not let their breaks get interrupted for anything. Are there guys still here? Can we talk to you some more? Want to give us a hand? You just want to steal our secrets. Oh, yeah. The zen of being squinty and impotent continues to elude us. Want to give us a hand? You oh, yeah. Nothing. Okay. So let's look at this one area I ignored on purpose so far. Hey, it's a Mr. Reaper phone. Hey, good looking. I'll be back to cut you down later. So there's the gumball machine we've been missing. Oh, I wouldn't say we've been missing it. What, your aim's gotten better? Anyway. Aw, oh, cute, Max. It's a little goth mole man. Token. With Token mole voice. man? So now we're underrepresenting the mole man demographic? I thought we were just insensitive to women and minorities. No, you need a token. Oh. You've ruined my big entrance. Wait. Harry Moleman? In a past life, yes. Now I am become death. Great, you can talk to Rincewind. We want to take the next train out of here. Nobody gets on board the Soul Train without a token. How do we get one of those? You automatically get one when you die at your appointed time. Hmm. Oh, cheer up, fellas. You'll be dead soon enough. That's not reassuring. How do we get a token again? You automatically get one when you die. But it has to be your time. So don't try jumping the turnstiles with any murder-suicide packs. Nuts. 
Yeah, you knew that's what Max would immediately think of, huh? What are you doing here? Didn't you hear me? I'm deaf! Wait, hang on! Ah, false alarm. Tumor was benign. How did you get to be deaf? Hell's been on a big corporate efficiency kick lately. They're passing the savings on to me. They've been outsourcing the coolest jobs, and I underbid the last guy. Hmm. Have you seen Bosco's soul lying around anywhere? Bosco? Hmm. Bosco. Now, is that his first or last name? Yes. You never asked. Or cared, really. Well, the last soul train came through about 30 minutes ago, so he's probably already in hell. Hmm. How do we get to hell? Well, you have to take the soul train. Naturally. Your final stop depends on what's in your permanent record. But uh, if you two are trying to get to hell, that uh, really shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> See you later, Harry. Maybe sooner than you think. Yeah, that's ominous. But expected. And Sam and Max wanting to go to hell? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem in the least. Let's get out of here for the moment, since we've got to go find a token. Or at least fake our death. Like Rincewind did. <laughs> this does bring up some interesting thoughts about fate. How'd we end up on our own street? You mean, we've been living over the gateway to hell all this time and never took advantage of it? Our condo association is going to be receiving a very stern letter about this. I'm pretty sure they would have enjoyed knowing that. Oh well. We've got the car here. Seems like a waste to take the car anywhere when there's public transit downstairs. And look at all the decals we've got. We will, we will be able to add to those this chapter. Just not right now. But let's take a peek and see what Sybil's doing. See how we can take advantage of her new profession this time. Loading. Oh, Sam and Max, you're here! I've been dying to tell you. You'll never guess what Abe did during our date last night. I we stopped wanna... speculating about that months ago. It was making me lose my appetite. Sam, yeah. shut it. Girlfriend, dish! He actually got down on one jowl and asked me to marry him. Congrats, I guess. I've got so much planning to do. I'd be a wreck if I didn't have the monster to help. Oh, it's no bother. Hmm. Hiya, Sybil. I don't have much time to chat, Sam. I've got so much to plan. So planning for the wedding, huh? Is there room in the wedding party for Max and me? As president of the U.S. and high priest of the Ocean Chimps, I'm qualified both legally and spiritually to conduct the ceremony. Hmm, how to put this tactfully? They'll be serving ice cream in hell before I let that happen. Noted. Well, what's the wedding gonna be like? Is it a shotgun wedding? Max! What a thing to ask. Oh wait, he doesn't know what that means, does he? Just let him enjoy his fantasy version for a while. <laughs> Can we give you anything for the wedding? We kept one of the zombie's arms that fell off. It's old and kind of blue now. You want to borrow it? That's a lovely offer, but no thanks. Yeah, I wouldn't take that either. Did we accidentally leave our monster in here? Ugh, we're gonna have to get a leash. Back in the trunk, gruesome! Don't you dare take him away. I've been spilling all the details of my whirlwind romance with Abe. It's just like talking with my girlfriends. Why am I made to suffer so? Huh. Okay. Did we accidentally leave our... Don't you... Yeah, nothing new there. All right. Good luck, Sybil. Well, let's talk to the monster and see what he has to say about... How you being doing, Grusom? Uh, what have you been doing since target. you confessed your love for Sybil and she turned you down? Mostly just replaying that moment in my mind over and over again. Hey, monster, which color do you think Abe would look best in? <sighs> Maroon. Hmm. Enjoying all this quality time with Sybil? Please kill me. Please kill him. Huh. All right. 
Look at all the food on the menus, Max. Hey, she misspelled appetizer. Stop saying things out of character. <laughs> cake at a wedding? Okay. Yeah, who's ever heard of cake at a wedding? Snooty overpriced wedding invitations. I still haven't gotten my invitation! Strange, since the wedding's only hours away. Lost in the mail, I'm sure. Indeed. Snooty Anything overpriced... No. Nope. Enjoying all this qual... Please kill me. No, we can actually oblige him of that request. Featherly laid an egg. Don't ask me how. Huh. So we have an egg. Well, at least we know what we're going to be doing with that egg, if you remember the last... Uh, last episode. So let's oblige Jurgen's monster here. Don't judge me for this, Max. It's for his own good. Bless you. And apparently he really is death. He's coming All to right. check monster. the monster. Monster. Hmm. I've never handled a monster before. I'll have to figure out how this works exactly. Huh. He's lost in thought. It's not easy to condemn a guy with no soul. Yeah. He's dead. But I'm sure he's used to that by now. Probably. Well, let's break the news to Sybil, sir. Let's poke at the intercom. Nobody's here. home. Nobody's home. Oh, that reminds me. I need to go down to Balls R Us. Right now, it's two balls for the price of one. I don't want to know what type of ball. So, Monster, about. I was thinking of using... Oh, did he die again? I'm up! I'm up! Well, He's alive! Gunshots? I don't have time for this! Huh. So, Harry will come check on the monster if he dies. Interesting. Why do you keep bringing the monster back to life? Oh, he's not dead. He just needs a little jolt now and then. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's... He's my rock. Really? You just don't know how nice it is to be able to just talk to a man with absolutely no romantic attraction at all. Ouch. Yes, of course. Ow. Wouldn't you like to just let the monster stay dead a while? There's just too much wedding planning to do right now. He can sleep during the honeymoon. Good luck, Sybil. I don't really want to think about your honeymoon to Lincoln's head. Just really, you really don't want to think about that. Oh, hey, the fox had bridal accessories on. Hmm, they're closed. Closed, huh? Let's see what the cops are up to. Hiya, cops. Hello, and welcome to a pimp the car. <laughs> ah, bluster blaster's still broken. What car upgrades are you offering this time? Turn your vehicle into a super fast nitro burning funny car! For a limited time only. Offer and Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Hmm. Oh yeah! I can take that mother out on the straightaway, push her to the red line till she screams, pop the clutch, kick you the afterburners, and smoke them pigs as I sail over the county line! Woo! You can't see over the wheel, Max. Fascist. Apparently he's been watching Dukes of Hazard. We want that nitrous upgrade for our car. I want to go fast enough to blow the stink off of Sam! We're sorry, but your vehicle has... Gone on to a better place. Aww. We are sorry for your loss. Can't you fix it? We're afraid the car is completely dead. Repairing it is beyond our current skill level. <laughs> it still had so much to live for. Indeed. Can't you guys upgrade the DeSoto? The nitrous speed upgrade is only for vehicles in working condition. Aww. We're sorry, but your vehicle is completely dead. We'll have to fix it later. We just can't fix it yet. Is it my imagination, or is Bluster Blaster acting weirder than normal? He suffered severe injuries while testing an experimental wireless antenna. You remember that, right? <laughs> you guys, you guys, I'm in so much pain right now. We have been using laughing gas to keep him sedated. 
Where are you guys getting enough nitrous to do car upgrades? Bluster Blaster was given laughing gas to ease his suffering after his recent injury. Wait, you've been selling the leftovers from his prescription? And these guys are the only ones not going to hell. Oh, the irony. Uh. Okay. So long, cops. Stay virtuous. Yeah, so far not much. Wait, that's a ghost. Mrs. Mama Bosco? That's Ms. Mama Bosco. You think just because I'm dead you don't have to respect my independence? How'd you get to be a ghost? I don't know. I was sitting in my apartment when all of a sudden there was this explosion. I don't remember hearing or causing an explosion. It was a great big geyser of vinegar and baking soda. Except, you know. Wait a second. Where is your apartment exactly? On the second floor above the store, fool. Where else would I live? Oops. How do we get to your apartment? Hell if I know. Some fool blew up the stairs. That's not good. Wasn't somebody there to guide you to the afterlife? There was some little man who kept going on about a token and some train, but the second explosion scared him off. Now the stairs are destroyed, and I can't get up there to get that token. Hmm. So she has a token up there. Did you get a token for the afterlife? I told you, it's still up in my apartment. Sorry for your loss. Any final arrangements you want us to take care of? Oh, I ain't going anywhere yet. Even if I could get to the afterlife, I can't rest until I find the man who trashed my store. But that was over 40 years ago. Wow, she really holds a grudge. I'm glad I broke up with her. I spent the last 40 years thinking up new ways to make his life a living hell. But then she says things like that, which makes me love her even more. <laughs> this guy who trashed your store, what did he look like? I never got a good look at his face. Which is why I hired that P.I. to track him down. But I remember he was about six feet tall. Like Bosco? Yeah. And he had big, bulbous forearms. Kind of like Bosco's forearms. Right. And he was kind of balding, with skin that wasn't quite purple, but sort of... Bosco colored? Yeah, you could say that. Have you two seen the guy? Well, we haven't <laughs> seen anyone who fits that description, ma'am. At least no one alive, anyway. Have you seen Bosco lately? Not as much as a mother likes, no. I'm always upstairs plotting my revenge, and he's always busy working on his inventions, losing track of time. That's why I send him an alarm clock every Christmas. Well, you'll get to see more of them now that you're both dead. Let's not bother the poor woman any more than we already have, Max. Don't go into the light. Oh, I ain't going into any light until I find out who's responsible for this. Yep. Anyway, that's enough for this episode. When we return, we continue to look around the street and see if we can find a way to grab that token that's sitting up above Bosco's store. Until then, take care, folks. See you next time.